Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of The Ryan McHugh Show. I'm your host, Ryan McHugh, with the Creative Wedding Agency and Ryan and Tasha Photography. I apologize about the little delay in video releases this past couple of weeks. Tasha and I have been on the road. We photographed and videoed over four different weddings in four different states. It was a crazy past couple of weeks, plus having our three children with us. It was nuts, but we love every minute of it because this is what we do. The other thing I want to mention about this video is that this is going to give you some tips to guarantee that those moments are captured throughout the day. Those very special moments that you're going to have that are going to happen on your wedding day that are going to create these lasting images that when everything is said and done, when you no longer have the food or um, friends or uh, flowers and things like that actually physically there, you're gonna look back on your wedding photography and your wedding videography. And that's why what we do is so important. And here are some tips to make sure that you are guaranteed to get those photos with your photographers and videographers. And hopefully your wedding doesn't end up like this. All right, getting right into it, tip number one, create a wedding detail board. A wedding detail board can be anything like a Pinterest post or an Instagram feed that you've saved and shared with us, your photographers or your photographers or videographers. This is gonna visually tell us what you're trying to communicate for the photos that you like or dislike. All right, here's an insider tip. Don't tell anyone. Ask your photographer if they'll allow you to choose the editing style for your wedding day images. All the time I get asked by clients, can we do more bright and airy style shots or can we do more urban city HDR style shots? And realistically, it comes down to the editing style. So don't be afraid to ask your photographer or request from them different types of styles that you like and really enjoy for your wedding day images. My next tip up is hire a photographer and a videographer from the same company. Hiring a photographer and a videographer from the same company is a better choice for many reasons. Better communication, placement on the wedding day, editing style, not to mention they know exactly what to anticipate from the photographer or videographer and vice versa throughout the day. It's just a better choice all the way around, plus you're bound to get discounts for booking the two services together. My next tip up is schedule enough time for each part of the day. Especially from a photography standpoint, we wanna make sure that we have enough time to highlight each portion of the day. Everything from hair and makeup, to putting your dress on, to getting on the limo, doing bridal portraits, all of this is very important for us to capture. So making sure everything runs on time and smoothly is very important to the success of your wedding day images. Okay, this next one may just seem obvious, right? Hire quality vendors. Unfortunately, not everybody goes that route. And sometimes we hire Uncle Joe or Aunt Kathy who has a flower business, whatever it may be, we wanna make sure that we provide you the best service possible. So making sure you have professional, courteous, and responsible vendors from each aspect of the day is only going to ensure that the day runs smoothly from a photo and video standpoint. All right, next tip up is make sure you plan enough time for hair and makeup. All too often do I see brides and bridesmaids rushing around at the very last moments of the wedding prep to just get the last minute details. 
details of their hair and makeup. And if you hire a professional makeup or hair person, they're gonna understand that from a photography standpoint, we're gonna need a little bit more time than that. And they're gonna have you done in plenty of time for us to get our images that we need before the ceremony starts. All right, this is kind of a fun tip that I like to give all brides. Make sure you incorporate toss items. What do I mean by toss items? Flowers, uh, money, confetti, the list goes on. Bubbles, I mean, you can go crazy, but anything that creates motion in the image. As long as the image looks like it's moving, it's gonna feel real and it's gonna bring back those special moments. So I tell people to bring toss items, flower petals, you name it. It can really enhance the images and create for some very cool photography. Being a wedding photographer, I always get asked by clients who really want to know the hidden secret behind getting that shot, that one photo. And I always respond with, do it at the right time. Schedule enough time to go out and take some really creative shots in the prime lighting. And this tends to be anywhere between 35 to 45 minutes before sunset, generally sometime during dinner as the sun is going down. You've booked this beautiful venue, now let's take advantage of it, right? Let's get in there and as the sun is setting, let's take some really beautiful creative shots. And that's where the creativity can really come to life, especially if your photo shoot was kind of running a little bit behind. One of my other favorite things that I like to have bride and grooms do is a sneak away session or an end of the night shot. This is where we go out and under the moon and the stars, we can do some really creative stuff and we can do some sparkler stuff. A lot of brides love one of our signature shots that we do is the love shot with a sparkler. So if you're doing a sparkler exit or something of that nature, all of that can be encompassed in making sure you put time aside for your end of the night shot. And that's gonna wrap it up for the tips for this week's episode. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Ryan McHugh with the Creative Wedding Agency and Ryan and Tasha Photography. I hope you enjoyed all the information in this video. And as a special bonus, if you're still watching, if you click the link below, I am going to send you my wedding day blueprint. That's right, this gives you all the information on how we plan out the perfect wedding day photography timeline. That's right, if you click the link below, fill out all the information, I will personally send you our wedding day blueprint that Tasha and I use right in our business with our clients. You can share this with your photographer and your videographer, this way making your wedding day photos and videos exactly what you're looking for. Make sure you follow us online in all the social media. Make sure you check us out online at www.thecreativeweddingagency.com. Make sure you also check Tasha and I out at www.ryanandtasha.com. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am photographer Ryan McHugh, and this is The Ryan McHugh Show, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week. We'll see you again.